Hi Dana, um, I hope this video will help you build the interaction that you're trying to build with the calorie counter. I don't know how Tom did his, I haven't seen it, but this is how I would do it. So on my screen here I've got um, a few objects, I've got a, uh, a plate and I've got a cupcake and an apple and then I've got a couple of hot spots behind each of these which I've named cupcake spot and apple spot and um, I've got a reference to a variable there that I'm going to create now so let's do that first let's create the variables um, sorry I actually have them already created so I've got a calories variable it's a number and the default value is zero and this is the variable that's going to add or subtract the calories then I've got a calories apple variable and that is for the apple and I've set it to 50 supposing or assuming that an apple has 50 calories and then I've got a calories cupcake and I've set it to 300 again just assuming that that's the value but you can name these whatever you want and you can set however many calories you want to assign to your objects that you're using so I've got those there and the other thing that I'll do um, the the reference to the variable is up there so that we can see that it's that it's counting and adding and subtracting and then the other thing that I'll do before we start putting some triggers in is I'm going to add some states to these um, objects and I'll show you why um, in just a minute as well. So a new state, I'm going to make a custom state called on plate, and then I'm going to make another custom state called off plate. And uh, obviously the visual, the cupcake looks exactly the same, whichever state is 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 there, right? So um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the off plate state to be the initial state and now I'm going to format paint that and copy the states over to the apple and I'm going to set that initial state to um, off plate as well. Alright so now that I've done that what I need to do is add some triggers so I'm going to say I'm going to say um, adjust variable calories to add the variable apples so that's going to add 50 because the value the value of the calories apple variable is 50 when the object apple is dropped on the plate okay and then um, we'll just have a look at how this works so if I put the apple there it'll add 50 nothing else will happen because that's all I've done so far Okay, let's keep going. Um, the next trigger I'll, s I'll add is going to be the same, except this time it's going to subtract the variable calories apple when the object apple is dropped on apple spot this time. So when the user drags it back from the plate onto the original spot, it'll subtract 50. So let's check it out. So I'm going to put the apple on, it'll add 50, I'll bring it back, it'll add, uh, it'll subtract 50 rather, and I can just do that, right? So what we're going to do now is do the same two triggers for the cupcake. Alright, so I've done my triggers there, they're this exactly the same, uh, except they apply to the cupcake, so add the calories cupcake to the calories variable when the user drops it on the plate and subtract when you drop it back onto the cupcake spot. So we'll check it out. Right, so we're gonna put the apple on the plate, it'll add 50, we'll put the cupcake on the plate, it'll add 300, you've got your total there. We'll move it back, it'll subtract, we'll move it back, it'll subtract. So, so far so good. The thing about this though is that if you, or if the user accidentally um, moves the apple onto the hotspot like that, so I just moved it slightly to the right, it's going to subtract because I've just dropped it on the hotspot again. Or if you put it on the plate and then you go, oh hang on, I want it to be on this side of the plate and you move it again, it'll keep adding if you move on. So we can fix that problem quite easily. So remember how we created a couple of states for the apple and the cupcake before? We're going to use that now. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to say, okay, change the state of the apple to on plate when the 
object apple is dropped on the plate right so at the moment the initial state of the apple is off plate which means that it's not on the plate it's off the plate and then once we drop it onto the plate the state of the apple will change to on plate all right and then the other thing we'll do is change the state of the apple to off plate when the object apple is dropped on the apple spot right so we've got those there now the other thing we're going to do is these two triggers that we've got to add and subtract we're going to um, we're just going to add a condition so we've got just the vari variable calories to add the other variable calories apple but we're only going to do that on the condition that the variable sorry that the shape apple is equal to off plate so when we're dropping the apple there we want this to be off plate for that to add okay and it'll make sense in a minute <laughs> and then this one the subtract one we're going to say on the condition that the shape apple is equal to on plate so it's going to be on the plate and when we drop it here we are going to subtract the value of 50 only if the state is off plate so let's see if this has worked the way we want it to okay so we've got our apple so I'm going to put it on the plate it adds 50 I'll move it back it subtracts 50 now if I accidentally move it within the hotspot it still stays at zero and that's what we want it to do right zero if I put on the plate there and then I move it around it's still at 50 so it'll only subtract when we move it back here because it's changing its state to um, what it needs to be in order to subtract now if we do that with a cupcake because we haven't added those extra triggers and conditions it's not going to do it so that one's not working yet but we'll fix that very quickly so here I've added the cha state changes and I've added the oh actually I haven't added the condition so we'll add it now so to add on the condition that the shape cupcake is equal to off plate and for the subtract on the condition that the shape cupcake is equal to on plate all right now we'll see if that works all right so we'll put the apple on and again we move it around and all's fine cupcake we move it around and that's working too if we remove it it'll subtract if you remove it it'll subtract now just one a couple of things actually one is if you notice that when you've built this the apple and the cupcake or your objects um, are snapping to the center of the plate and you want the user to be able to drop the items on different spots around the plate you can just right click on the plate or whatever object you're using and in the drag and drop options there make sure that free is ticked I think by default it'll be ticked to stack random and do the same for the hotspots so that they can put them back down um, any in any place on the hotspot and one last thing that I might suggest is um, with these sorts of uh, freeform interactions it's sometimes it's very difficult to predict every possible thing that the user will do so it would be good in my opinion to on this sort of interaction to have like a little refresh button somewhere where if for any reason the user found a way to mess this up mess up the calcul calculations that they can just reset the screen so you can do this quite easily in the following way you can simply add a button obviously you make it look however you want um, and put it anywhere you want on the screen just make a button that's called refresh and what you'll do is get the, the set a trigger to jump to slide this slide so you wanted to jump back to this very slide when the user clicks the button and 
and then what you want to do is under the properties for the slide you want to say when revisiting reset to initial state so that the whole screen will reset so we'll test it out so I'm going to put my apple, my cupcake there and then I'm going to refresh now what happens is they go back to their spot and everything is refreshed except for that variable so we need another trigger to say also again under this button we're going to say at where are we adjust the variable calories to a value of 0 when the user clicks the button so now if we preview so now if we preview we'll go 50 350 and we want to refresh and it goes back to 0 and you can do it again so I hope that helps you Dana if you have any questions just let me know in the forum and um, I might upload this file there for you to have a look at as well. Cheers!